said up there, I'm not getting any younger. Like, do you feel pressure at the stage of your career that you have to keep winning? That like, you know, a loss at this point in the fight like this could just be a setback. You may not really be able to recover from. Not really. Uh, with the experience, you know, you you learn to not to not uh, looking past your opponent. I'm taking one fight at a time. But uh, like I said uh, in many interviews before, I tried to call uh, the entire top 15 for the year and a half, but I didn't get any answer. So now I'm tired to do that. I'm, I'm going right on top right now. I'm going to pass Cerrone and I'm going to call the champ right now. So I was trying to, to become a fighter then I wasn't, you know, more wrestler, more jiu-jitsu guy. I'm a striker. Uh, I, 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 I didn't change my game. I just came back to, to the base. And, uh, but I, I still train, you know, I still try to upgrade my game very, very well. I'm a BJJ black belt. See, if I need to go on the ground, I go and I, I'm, you know, I'm able to do it like I did against, against Saunders. You know, I need to wrestle. I'll do it like I did against Joe Riggs. But, you know, I'm a striker. That's who I am. So that's, that I have to not forget that. How much of a factor is size going to be in this fight? Obviously, you can go back to you fighting Tito Ortiz, huge light heavyweight, and now you're fighting Don Cerrone, a guy who's been at lightweight for most of his career. Yeah, at that stage, I don't think the, the weight is a big factor about, around the, the skills. You know, if I if I think that just I'm going to win because uh, I'm a bigger guy, it's a big mistake. He's a well-rounded guy, uh, and, uh, you know, I have to bring a better skills than him to, to beat him. For sure, I'm going to be a bigger guy. I'm going to use it. I'm going to be more powerful. But uh, at the same time, it's uh, I can't control that. I'm going to be a bigger guy. That's it.